It doesn't matter how you got into Dragon Ball. The one thing that almost every Dragon Ball fan wants more of is, well, more Dragon Ball. So on this video, me and Rhyme Style are going to talk about 10 Dragon Ball Z spinoffs that we want to see. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. Share this video out to the world, and I thank you very much for your support. So here's the way it's going to work, guys. This is the red version of the 10 Dragon Ball Z spinoffs. Rhyme Style's here with me. We're going to give you five. If you want to hear the other five, you have to go over to Rhyme Style's channel and watch the other half of this video, which is the blue version. And I will leave a link down below. So what's up, Rhyme Style? Hey, hello there. This is actually going to be fun. I'm excited about this. Actually, we've, we've been meaning to do this literally for like weeks now. Yes, we've been trying to do it for weeks now, and I'm so happy we finally getting it done. Uh, in other words, the way it's going to work, guys, we're, we're going to give you what we want. We want 10 Dragon Ball spinoffs. Basically, when Dragon Ball Super is over, these are shows that we wish that Toei would actually make based on Dragon Ball lore. So... On this video, like I said, we're going to give you five. Dino's video will have the other five. And, of course, feel free to comment in both videos about your thoughts on our spinoffs as well as uh, your ideas. If you have any ideas for shows that Dragon Ball should kind of do, let us know down below. All right, I'm going to start. First one, the first spinoff that I want to see is I want a History of Master Roshi show. Ooh. A, a lot of this comes back to that filler episode from Dragon Ball when Mr. Popo sent Goku back in time and he met Roshi, the Crane Master, and of course Mutaito. I think it would be awesome if they had a story of Master Roshi, how he was trained by Mutaito, his relationship with the Crane Master. They could even put in the whole story of King Piccolo and what he did. I would love, because that's one of my favorite, maybe my favorite filler episode in all of Dragon Ball is the one where Goku goes back in time to meet Roshi. And I would love it if we got the entire story of Roshi, his adventures, how he ran into the Phoenix Bird, everything. I was about to say, hopefully we actually get to see the Phoenix Bird this time. <laughs> exactly, I would love it. I, I wish they would do it. I think there's so much potential to tell a whole Roshi TV show. And you could, of course, have the Toriyama perverted joke. So, Dino, which one do you want? What's your, what's your first choice? I, actually, this is one that's been bugging me ever since I saw it, but... I want to know what the hell happened to Goku in that seven-year time skip after the end of Cell. Because we, he goes Super Saiyan 3, he becomes a lot stronger. I would love, number one, I would love to see him become Super Saiyan 3, the process of what happened, the training. Maybe a whole adventure came out of it. I would just love to see the in-between stuff of what happened from the day Goku died to the day, well, we know that the tournament took place, to the day he comes back in the Buu Saga. What do you think about that? I think that would be great. And the main thing there is... You got to be careful what they do because here's the thing about that idea. I love it because we're going to get to finally see how the hell Goku unlocked SS2 and SS3. However, there is a question that must be brought up. What do you do with PyCon slash PyKuhan? Because PyKuhan is only in the anime, not the manga. So do you follow the manga canon or do you actually have PyKuhan be Goku's sidekick? That's the only thing where I'm kind of like, which one would I do? I don't know because PyKuhan's popular, but would Toriyama be okay with that? See, that's where I'm kind of in the middle about how the direction of the show could go. But they could always have Goku go off on his own adventure and not even reference PyKuhan. But I feel like fans are going to be asking, where's PyKuhan? Yeah. So, all right, my next one here is entirely based on the previous episode of Dragon Ball Super. Dragon Ball Small Super. Small spoiler episode. alert. Small spoiler alert. Small spoiler if you haven't seen it yet. Hopefully by now you have. Uh, it's from Dragon Ball Super episode 35 when we found out that Hito or Heat is a mercenary. I want Heat's mercenary adventures. I want to see this guy policing the galaxy, even with Kabe, arresting criminals handcuffing them, doing whatever it takes. I want his whole story. I want his journey. I want his quest. I'm fascinated by this character. We may get more of it as Super progresses, but for right now, this guy's so damn cool, yo, with his cape and his freaking, his his armor and his head shaped like a testicle. <laughs> his crazy abilities. His weird abilities. We don't even know if, like, he mentally killed, you know, Frost or he's like <laughs> Professor Xavier. I don't know, but... I want the Hito's Mercenary Adventures. What do you think? I, I think it would be badass. Absolutely badass. And Because there's so much room there. 
Now, I'm, the thing is, it will be Dragon Ball, it will be Dragon Ball Z, it will be Dragon Ball Super, but it is a universe. So people might be, I don't know, I think, I want to first of all, hear how people react to this. Because, like I said, it's not the, your stereotypical Dragon Ball stuff. But at the same time, he's such an interesting character with such amazing powers. And the potential to tell stories there is just incredible. incredible. So with that said, I'm, I'm down for that. 100%. Yeah, I think that would be great. I mean, we might get more of it in Super Bowl. We'll see. All right, what is your next one? Actually, this is one that I'm sure a lot of people will be uh, on my side with. Oh, my God. you're If it's what I think it is, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Well, I kind of have to split it into two parts. Part one is just the Future Trunks story because let's just be real here. Future Trunks is a lot of our favorite characters. He was my second favorite character. He was my first originally until you know Beerus came out. I would love to know what happens to Future Trunks to the point where he goes back in his timeline and then lives a peaceful life. Whether it be new bad guys to show up or what the hell happens. Either that or part two, Xeno Trunks. The idea of, of Dragon Ball Xenoverse where we see Trunks traveling through time, becoming you know a time patroller with the Supreme Court time, helping her out, going through various timelines to fix stuff, will be an amazing story. Like, think of the potential thing. Like, I'm sure everybody, and Xenoverse is a popular game, everybody who played Xenoverse would absolutely go crazy for that. What do you think about that? No, not only is that a great idea, but before Super started, one of the common questions that we got, and even during Super, was will Future Trunks return in Super? A lot of YouTubers did videos about it. I knew he wasn't going to return. I knew that Xenoverse and Dragon Ball Heroes before Xenoverse was really the return of Trunks. But the thing is, he's got a rabid fan base. And just based on his fan base and the fangirls, I think it's a great idea. I actually would like a Dragon Ball Hero story, but that's a, maybe that's for, one for another video. Um, I would love a Trunks story about what happened after he can, went back to the future and saved the world. Did he get a wife? Did he have any problems with Lord Beerus showing up, for example, in the future timeline? Who knows? My It'd be a lot of fun. Yeah, a lot of fun. I, I agree, and he's very popular, without question. Now... My fifth and final one for this edition. And remember, guys, this is the red version. The blue version is over on Dino's channel. We got five more spinoffs for you. Is I want a story of Kabe and the Universe 6 Saiyajin or Saiyans. I absolutely fell in love with Kabe when we first found out the whole lore about how they don't have tails. They're on Planet Salad. They uh, are benevolent heroes. I would absolutely love to see a story of good Saiyans protecting the universe, even the story of like how Frost manipulated them into thinking that he was a benevolent guy and he actually wasn't a benevolent guy. I would totally love to see that story being told. And that could go on even past Super. We might even see that like after Super's timeline, you know, because I just think that the concept of good Saiyans and Planet Salad, I think would work, even though I do think that a lot of the fans are going to want Goku and Vegeta involved. Still, like you don't even have to do it with them, but I think that they're gonna have to at least make a cameo somewhere. What do you think? Yeah, you could definitely add a cameo in there. I mean, it would make sense for it to just be about Kabe in that universe, but at the same time, I feel like Kabe's character is so interesting that it's kind of no brainer to us see more. Because I mean, even right now, everybody wants Vegeta to go to Planet Salad and you know see another adventure there. Now, the only question I have to the people watching this video, and I kind of brought this up earlier, is how likely. Is it for you as a viewer, as a fan of Dragon Ball, to want stuff that's not necessarily around Goku and Vegeta's life? I yes. think that's going to be the big, the big question in this video that I want to see answered in the comment section below. Like, how do you, how do you think people are going to react to that? Yeah, because one thing I will add to what you're saying is that Toei is very Goku centric. Um, Goku is an iconic character in Japan, even more so than here. So I feel like Toei and Toriyama have both centered their stories primarily around Goku, whereas I feel they should take an approach kind of like what Disney's doing with the cinematic universe and with the Star Wars universe, you know, Marvel Cinematic Universe, Star Wars universe. That's what I want to do here. This is a Dragon Ball expanded universe. That's what we're talking about here on this video. A Dragon Ball expanded universe about other character stories, not just Goku. I think they should gamble it. I think they should use these ideas, even though they, they're not going to watch this because... They hate YouTubers, but you know what I mean? <laughs> they, they should I mean, use... It doesn't even have to necessarily be a long series. It could be like one, three episode specials and 11, 11 episode miniseries. Or even a full length one, it's like 25 episodes long. It doesn't have yeah. to be like super epic long like Dragon Ball Z, for example. Absolutely. It could be a miniseries. It could be a, a series of specials. Who knows? But anyways, let us know your thoughts down below. Let's recap the five. History of Roshi. Goku Seven Year Other World Adventure, Hits Mercenary Adventures, Future Trunks, Xeno Trunks in the Future, and Kabe and the Universe 6 
Planet Vegeta, Planet Salad, whatever. Let us know down below what you think about that. Give us your thoughts. And head over to Rhyme Style's channel. I will put the link down below so we can watch the blue version of this discussion. Five more Dragon Ball Z spinoffs over there. Blue we'll version see, hype. <laughs> we'll see you there.